The Atlanta Institute of Music Alumni Spotlight presents Cliff Myers. When I came to AIM, I thought that it would just be an interaction with guitar students, bass guitar and lead guitar students. But I got to the point where I started to interact with the recording students. And it taught you the tools of the trade, but it also taught you to build relationships with these people. Uh, because you all work together in the end, you always work together. And you know, you always want to give people positive images of yourself while presenting a level of professionalism also. You never know who will be the next big producer or the guitar students who will be the next big artists out there. And you want to form the relationships. I met my friend Taos, T-A-O-S, the architect of sound, in level two. He asked me to do a project for him that was for one of his teachers. Uh, I didn't know what it would turn into. I just remember Taos walking into the break room and saying, I need you to do drums on a track for me. And I wasn't going to tell him no. Uh, I had to do it. it. It was flattering to me for somebody to ask me. But I jumped on the opportunity, walked into the studio and saw Malcolm Smith, one of the recording teachers here. He likes me, I like him. We were working on a record that Teos actually produced himself by the name of Favorite Drink, and he came to me and asked me if I could really get the record to the point. I told him we need a drummer. So Teos was like, hey, I know a guy named Cliff. He goes to our school, he's, he's dope. So I met Cliff in the drum room one day, and he was just lacing something with the electronic drums. I was like, Man, this dude making that, that electronic drum <laughs> sound like the real thing. So when he came in the studio, we were having problems with the overhead mics in the session that day. Cliff got in there and he just rocked out. It sounded so good. We used the drums he had without even the overheads. <laughs> but Cliff is bad. Cliff is a bad drummer, man. I listened to the track once. I sat behind the kid and I was, started brainstorming immediately. I thought really hard what would fit, what wouldn't fit. What would they like, what would they not like. So I went in there and I played what I felt, what I felt they would like, what felt right to me. We got the album done. I had an idea as to what I wanted to do, but it was the help of AIM teaching me, you know, what keeps me afloat, what works, what does not work. The possibilities are endless. Before, I had a vision, but it's nothing near the vision I have now. The name of the song is Favorite Drink. I did that, I did that track. Uh, I did a couple more that aren't on the EP but they will be released later. The album name is Breaking Ground. You can find it on iTunes. Go get it. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Make like Nike. Just do it. If you're not here, get here.